How do we shake up the educational system for the long-term happiness and prosperity of the future of the world? I know in the United States, we're the only major country that bases so much of our educational funding on property taxes, and that needs to stop. So every school in America, every public school should be a palace of culture and learning and the arts. How a nation spends its money is much like with an individual. How you spend your money is a, is a reflection of your values. And we do way too much money of slashing taxes for the very, very, very richest among us and not nearly enough money, um, resources given and focus given, particularly to the youngest and to the least among us. So, you know, it's that old saying, you can't tell somebody to, you know, pull themselves up by the bootstraps when they don't have any boots. And I think our educational system should be the crown jewel of our society. In today's world, it's too often a dangerous place. And dangerous not only physically in terms of guns, but in terms of drugs and gratuitous sex and things that none of us want our children to be raised around at school. We have to look, what what are the root causes, not just the symptoms? And if you look at the root causes, you see how many, how many of those symptoms are caused on some level by the same thing. And that is the fact that our economy is so unbelievably rigged and skewed at this point. So, you know, you talk about education, but we have children who are traumatized before preschool. We have elementary school students who are on suicide watch. We have children at school who are hungry. So we have to talk about it, not just in terms of education, but in terms of the whole child. And we have to talk about it in terms of the, the, the well-being of the child from the time that they were born. So we have to give people hope back. None of this is going to change until people get hope back. And they're not going to get hope back until this, this burden is off people's back of the extraordinary chronic economic anxiety that millions and millions of people live with.